I don't understand. No more than you do. But I'm going to tell you. What I do understand is that I have rights. And my rights are to be safe. Not to be harassed. Not to be stalked. Not to be surveilled. And what else? The right to be private. So therefore, I've had to file again. Protection from harassment and stalking against who? The person on Facebook going by the name of Jenny Doe. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate it, the fact that I have to receive phone calls alerting me that there's my personal information being exploited. If I didn't give you permission to take pictures of my personal property and post it and its whereabouts. I didn't give you permission to follow me. I didn't give you information as to where I'm at. So the only person that would know that was anybody that was involved in where I'm at. And that would mean that it'd have to be a town official or a town official leaked that information because wherever I'm at is always confidential unless it comes out of my motherfucking mouth that you can have that information and I didn't give anybody that information except for a couple people so those people I know goddamn well didn't tell you where I'm at they didn't tell you where to go looking for my work trailer they didn't go telling you how or who to contact to exploit my personal business my privacy and violate my rights so knowing that I have written and requested for Somerset County Sheriff's Department to do something about it and they didn't so I filed and well it's been received I filed it online and it's been received online and the courts gonna either approve it or they're gonna deny it and the next step to that is if it's denied it's going for a fair hearing on the denial and if it's approved we're still gonna have a fair hearing and that means everybody we're gonna find out why my home got burned we're gonna find out who Jenny Doe is we're gonna find out why Somerset County Sheriff's Department didn't answer to it we're gonna find out why the internal affairs didn't do anything about the deputies not taking the reports we're gonna find out about the transparency where I requested reports and records and nobody's given them to me and then it's gonna have to be Maine State Police well they're involved because why the judge already knows that's looking at the protection from harassment request that they've all been requested to investigate and they haven't done so so everybody's gonna have to answer to the judge at some point and then if it's not satisfied in district court then we go to Supreme Court after Superior Court because we're just gonna skip by that because why it's a violation of federal rights it's a hate crime okay and noting that I have all documentation I have very good witnesses who's to say this may be the beginning of the end of all of the discrimination slandering, burning out, hate crimes, and all the bullshit that they've been doing to me and that you've been doing to me, okay? So, whoever this Jenny Doe is on Facebook, sharing my personal information, and again, privacy. That is a natural born right. It's a human right to have your own shit. Who are you to be following me? Are you that fucking infatuated with me? That's what scares me. Because, you see, infatuation by haters leads to crime. I have a friend like that. His name is Pete Bonduri. He's a serial killer. Are you a serial killer, Jenny Doe? We're going to find out who you are. Because I filed that protection order and it doesn't stop there. That's just the beginning. Then we're going to find out... Just like Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Well, so is Anson. Town Hall. Because why? Get an answer to somebody as to why the home got burned that I lived in. Somebody's got an answer to why I never knew that 
my home was being condemned. Somebody's got to answer to why all the outhouses got burned, being the barn, the shed, and the workshop that had cameras on them. How about that? Is it because Somerset County Sheriff's Department and the rest were involved? Is it because you all knew that Somerset County Sheriff's Deputy had violated when he crossed into my home? without a search warrant when you get out of a vehicle you only have the right to go from your vehicle the path leading to the door he went off that pathway he went over to the door stepped up knocked down back over the into my flower garden looked in my window because the curtain was open and if the curtain wasn't open I wouldn't have been able to see him looking in my window because I was in the bathroom looking out through how about that? Which the bathroom door is right across from the living room. The living room window that he stepped off backwards, off the steps, and turned to his left a little, stepped over, looked in, knocked on my window, and Gypsy went. Rum, 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 rum. <coughs> Isn't that correct, Mr. Deputy? So that's also an email sent. That's going to be more evidence and proof to the court. Because I just filed again. Protection from harassment. I did in January. Paper never got back to me. Hmm. Imagine that. That's also being brought up. But that's also been forwarded on to the right connections. That lead to the intervention that is going to be what the prevention from this happening continuously over and over again I've taken it to the hands of the officials that need it so region 2 who works with Maine State Police and we know that's all systematically put in together so it's a systematic bias shutout but that's okay because you see, there's 26 letters in the alphabet and we don't stop. We go A to Z. We don't stop at B. And if I have to, I start all over again. And I've had to. And I'm going to. And I'm going to continue to. So with that being said, Miss Jenny Doe, I'm sure we'll see this video on there. And you just know that every single thing, even the reports made by others to social media, and it hasn't been taken down. The pictures that have been posted about my work trailer being where it's at. Knowing that I am going to be what? Campaigning and sponsoring for Libertarian. Noting that I am making it publicly and nationally known. This person named Jenny Doe knows me not at all has never probably met me in person but they have obviously <laughs> got what a mental health doctor would say psychotic issues they've got problems because only a narcissist or a psycho serial abuser or killer would continuously harass stalk and follow the way that this Jenny Doe it used to be Danny Caldwell is it still <laughs>